Hey everyone and welcome back to the channel for some more DIY home decor. Today's video is episode 3 of the video series I've been making since my wife has been out. As far as an update with her, everything is phenomenal. She's doing great. I really appreciate all the comments you've all left her and we cannot wait for her to get back in action. In today's video, I'm going to be making two different wall decor pieces as well as a wall sconce. To start off with the first project, I'm showing here some plywood that I got from Lowe's. I'm using this as the backing of the project because I'm going to be gluing down mirrors to this as well as hanging it with actual wall hangers. This tool here is an actual glass cutter that can be used to cut glass mirror. As you saw, I purchased the plywood for around $7 and then this tool here, I got this from Home Depot. It was only around $5. It's pretty surprising here that this little blade actually cuts mirror. Now with this project that I'm making, you can cut your mirror however big you want it to be. You can buy a bigger piece of plywood or smaller, whichever way you want to go. If you have any mirror pieces from the Dollar Tree, you can use that to cut. These pieces here I actually purchased from Lowe's. They come in 30 by 36 inches in sheets. You want to start off by measuring and drawing a line to where you're going to cut at. You will then want to take your glass cutter tool and score the line to make your cut. Once you have cut your line, you will then want to use the end of the tool to tap the mirror. That way your piece will break in half. This does take a firm pressure applied to make the cut. To make it a little bit easier, you can use oil and this helps make the cuts a little easier. Some of the smaller pieces after you've scored it can just snap in half. Depending on what kind of theme you have going on in your house, you can use different colors to paint your plywood. I'm just using black here and then later on a silver one, but if you have other colors, you can use a light blue or light pink. This can help add a different pop of color. So let's go ahead and paint this and get it ready for our mirrored pieces we cut out. Now here I'm just aligning the mirrored pieces that I cut out to make the design, depending on how big or small your mirrors are, you can make any design you want. And the glue I'm using is Gorilla Glue Construction Adhesive. If you don't have any access to any of the mirror I'm cutting out here, I will leave here in the description box a mirror light reflective paper that you can order. It comes with a very strong adhesive on the back so you can apply it to foam board or a piece of thin plywood like this. To dress this piece up even more, I'm going to be applying Mod Podge to all the painted areas and then sprinkle crushed mirror all over it. For the second project, it's going to be similar. I just got a different cut of plywood and then now I'm spraying it silver. You can cut your mirror into any size you want. For this second project, I cut the mirror into different size strips. You can glue your mirror down in any direction you want. You can have it going horizontal, vertical, or even diagonal. Here I'm just applying the Mod Podge as we did with the first project to all the painted areas so that way I can apply the crushed mirror. Now that we have both projects ready, let's go ahead and hang them up. Here it is from a distance, guys. Look at this piece. When your guests come over and this is placed in your dining room, that's all they're gonna be staring at and they're gonna respect. Here's a closer look. What do y'all think of this? What kind of design are you gonna make right now? Crushed mirror with actual mirror. Look at the shine. What do you think, guys? I really like this piece. If you're enjoying this video, please give the video a thumbs up, hit the like button. If we can get to 50 likes, we're going to continue to bring out great content like this. The black paint we use really brings out the mirror. And here's a look at the second project. This one here, the piece of plywood that I used wasn't too long, reaches right up at the headboard. You can make a piece like this, place it right above your nightstands. You can even make a piece that's even longer than this that reaches higher up. 
And here's a closer look. The silver metallic really stands out as well on this one. For this third project, I just got a thin piece of plywood and drew a line and cut it in half. If you have any hand saw, that'll do the job. And I'm spraying it with a silver metallic finish. To put this piece together, I actually got two L-shaped brackets from Lowe's. I then used screws to put the two pieces of board together. With these brackets, it really helps hold the plywood together and it's going to be able to hold a good size heavy weighted candle. I then measured how tall the sconce was going to be so I could create my design from foam board. I cut out four strips of the same size that would be used for the left and the right side. The middle design was a little bit longer. This gave the sconce a little bit more character. I then place them in the form of a triangle. I once again use Gorilla Glue to glue these pieces together. For the bottom section of the sconce, I then measured how long I wanted my pieces to be. I then cut them out. With these pieces, you want to let them sit out and dry for a little bit. After they all dried, I began to place them and glue them down. You can use any color you want to put around the project. This is the metallic mirror-like paper that you can apply. This is what I ended up putting around the project. And here I'm just measuring each piece and cutting out the exact measurement to apply. When I was applying the reflective mirror paper, I realized that all my sides were not as smooth due to the dried up glue. If you want to have this look, I do recommend once you cut out your strips to immediately apply the mirror-like paper, that way it'll go on smoother. So instead of scrapping the entire project, I actually just started applying Mod Podge and then Sprinkle Crush Smear for a new look. The molding that I ended up making for this wall sconce ended up to be pretty unique. If you want to recreate this, you can make it the same or even make it longer and wider. Now that we finished with this, let's go ahead and take a look at the final project. Here it is from a distance decorated in the nook area. This would also look great if another one was on the other side with a matching pair. This piece can also dress up any entryway. 
And here's an up close look at the sconce. Well, that wraps up today's video, guys. I hope everyone enjoyed it. If you're new here, make sure to subscribe to the channel and turn on your notification bell. We would love to have you part of the family. What do y'all think of the video series we got going on here? Once again, if we can get this video to 50 likes, we're going to have to go to work to bring everyone some more content. And as always, thank you so much for watching.